Hello class, in this video we'll composite a 3D model in video using After Effects and Maya. So first let's bring our background footage, create a composition, and we're going to apply track camera to analyze the footage. Once it's done, create a 3D camera, and let's select the track nodes, and right click and create nodes. And we can tag them in different color. So these are going to be the reference points for us to create a model. And let's find a different spot for our second building. And we can tag them in blue color. And find a spot to create a third building and tag the track as a green color. And here's for our fourth building. And here's for our fifth building. And here's for our sixth building. And here's for our seventh building, the last building we're going to have in our scene. And then select all of the track nodes and go back to zero seconds. And hit PK to open the position channel. And make sure you're at the zero second. So create a keyframe for position and hit S key for scale, also create a keyframe. And then move to the last frame and also add a keyframe for position and scale channel. And then hit PK to close the position channel. And go to the camera. And we're going to bring back to the zero second and create keyframe on zoom channel and one keyframe on focus distance channel. And also go to the last frame and add two keyframes. And then we're going to save this scene and I'm going to save it as a step one file. And here let's extract the script for After Effects and just select all of the track nodes and also the camera and go to a file and script and run script so here we're going to select this script and open so this script is going to bridge between After Effects and Maya and click on export once it's done in your desktop folder you should find a Maya file double click to open it so here's the Maya file that I exported from the script so you're going to select all of the locators, hit command G to create a group. And then select the camera and the track nodes folder. And hit command G again to create a second group. And also want to make sure that you turn on the camera names. So you should be able to see the camera names on the bottom of your preview window. Here we're going to rotate the whole scene. So you can put all of the track markers on the floor plan. And you can hit this button to display two panels. And the left panel, you can display the panel through the track camera's view. So now this is from the After Effects camera's view. Also, open the render setting and turn on auto render. If this does not show up, go to the plugin manager and check on the plugins. So here in the render setting, image format is set as a JPEG, video resolution is set as a HD 1080. That should match with your After Effects setting. And then in the track camera's view, turn on the resolution gate so it will show what is in the frame. Alright, so now let's bring our models. So select all of the models and bring it to the side and we're going to drop in one by one. I'm going to start with the second building. So place the second building at where the track marker is and scale it up and you can switch it to track camera's view to adjust the scale string the third building and bring it into the scene and adjust the scale and the position you can always reference the track camera's view to refine the scale and then follow the same workflow and bring all of the other buildings
So now let's save our scene as a step three file. And here let's create a plan. And we're gonna use this plan to display green screen. Here go to Hypershade and we're gonna create a material and rename the material as a green screen. And for the color channel, get a green color for it. And also go to the incandescence channel and apply the same green color. Now apply the material to the plan. And here from the track cameras view, we can see that the green screen fulfill the window. And we'll have to go to the show and check off locators and also check off the grid. And then we can go to the play plus setting. And here's the setting I recommend to use. Click on browser to save the file to a location. And hit play blast. Then let's bring in the rendered video into After Effects. And you can scale it up to make the resolution gate match with your original video. And the time doesn't match is because our frame rate is 30 frames per second, but our original clip is only 23 frames per second. So here we can just adjust the frame rate of the rendered video. So now the time is gonna match. And then we can apply the key light effect onto our rendered video and take out the green color. So here is it. And then you can go to file and export the video.